Hello viewers. It's uh, 20 to 10 in the morning here and I thought I'd get an early start before it gets too uh, hot today. So I'm coming to a spot I was at one other time. And there seems to be a variety of uh, aged stuff here in a few different locations. So I'm going to pick around there and uh, hopefully find some goodies. That being said, I'll get you back up on when I get to the location and uh, get my first good find. All right, over and out. Here's an interesting piece, folks. Looks like it might be broke off there, but it's hollow down through there. Appears to be wooden. Neat. So I'm up closer to the border here today, the uh, main border, uh, United States border. So uh, a lot of the stuff I find might be uh, from the across the border there, from our uh, friends down in the states. So that'll be interesting. Check out, see what's in here. Okay, I'll get you back up on the next interesting find. Well, there's a half decent find, folks. This is acid line. It's cork top, machine made. And I believe they, uh, that's part of an old fire extinguisher. I found one of these before, but it was uh, blown and manganese glass, almost the exact same thing. But yeah, it's a cool find. Got one sticking out here. Alright, it's an early Scott's emulsion. Cool. Cod liver oil, lime and soda one. Yeah, it's got a bluey shoe to it, and she is got quite a bit of gunk in it. Ha! <laughs> good find though. That's gonna be like in the 20s, I think. Alright, we're on a good little patch here. Let's keep going. Hey, hey, folks. You're not gonna believe this, we got a daymaker. Check it out. With that nice amber embossed bottle. It's a Mary J. Goldman, maybe? St. Paul, Minnesota. Whew, daymaker. All right, well, let's keep going. We'll get you up on the next find. There's an interesting find, folks. I found one of these a few videos back. It's a Hills and Underwood dry gin. This one here is cork top. First one I found was a uh, screw top. Cool. Nice bottle. Oh, folks. I did it. I finally did it. Right here. I got a blue ink. <laughs> That's my first one. That's a bucket luster. Sweet, and it looks to be in perfect condition. Oh man, wow, I'm happy to have that one. Cool, that's awesome. I can get a picture of that one. Early screw top Bromo, folks, Toronto, Ontario. Cool beans. Let's keep digging. Okay, folks, check this one out. You see it there down, down in here? It's a blue atlas. Strong shoulder mason. And it looks like it's perfect. Cool. Nice and blue one. Halfway decent find, folks. It's embossed. What's that say? West Falls? World's best, New York. Of 
cork top. Looks like it's possibly machine made. Cool, neat bottle though. That's a pretty good find. It's a halfway decent find anyways. Let's keep going. Well folks, I've been digging around for a couple hours now. I'm gonna get out of here before I go I'll show a couple finds here. I'm not gonna take them with me, but next time I come back I might and I'm about 45 minutes away from home, so I won't be back like right away. So anyways, there's that one. It's a Vicker, Vickers Gin. Since 1750, partial label on it. And then also I pulled out with it this old link here and it's got a partial label on it as well. No idea what it is. There's a nice old uh, iron, still got the handle on it. And we also got a nice big slick hammer quart bottle that could be good for doing uh, paint crafts on. So anyways, I'm going to leave it at that and we'll see you all in the cleanup. Good day viewers, welcome to the wrap up. So uh, what can I say about this particular site? Uh, I've been back a few times since uh, digging this stuff here and I'm just putting this clean up together now but uh, it doesn't seem to have been touched before me getting to it so and so far there are some blown bottles in it but the majority of the stuff seems to be from the 20s and 30s so without further ado let's get into this here this is a nice looking shaped bottle and it's a West Falls, West Falls World's Best New York. It's machine made cork top and that is going to be a hair coloring bottle. Now this one here you can see is just your standard Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. Nice blue color though, aqua color. And next we get into the we got the Scott's emulsion and the embossing on this one is just superb. It just pops right out. It was a nice, must have been a nice clean mold. Perhaps a new mold. But check it out. That is a beauty. There's no markings on the bottom. Well it says a one. It says one, but that's a, that's it. And once again, I think this here is going to be from the late 20s, possibly early 30s. The same with most of this stuff. Here's a uh, Hills and Underwood London Dry Gin bottle. It's a cork top. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know I found a screw top one of these not too long ago. And I dated that one right around the late 20s, early 30s, before the federal law for bid warden comes on them. And I think that one's probably a little earlier still, before they turn screw top, so maybe mid-twenties. And next we just got a couple little items here. Glass, uh, got a chip out of it. Corker, stopper, and this is a uh, Crown's mason jar lid. See it's got the crown there on it. I believe that's a Canadian brand. This little guy here, he would have been on a motorcycle, but the back part of it's missing. This here is embossed, and it says uh, Baby Jumbo, and it's got some other things down here, which you can't really make out. But this would have been in the shape of a pen, and it would have been uh, a candy dispenser. It would have been full of candy, not a dispenser, but a a tube full of candy. Here's this wooden thing, still don't know what that is. Something's broke off there. Kind of interesting. A couple little pieces of uh, bling. This one was neat. It's a horseshoe. A little uh, stone in it. It could be a, a pearl, but I don't know. Anyways, that's those. 
Campana's Italian Balm. That was incorporated in 1927. So that's going to put us right in that age bracket. Late 20s, probably early 30s for that one. And that stuff smells pretty good. I found a bottle with some in it and <laughs> it smelled pretty good actually. What we got here is the Wild Root Company. And that's going to be uh, 1935. And that's a hair tonic. We got a lug style thread there. Bromo. 20s, early 30s. This nice blue cobalt pink. It's machine made. Beauty though, huh? Check it out. These couple little things here. Cobalt in this milk white dish. This puppy here, acid line. You might see some of these around. People dig them. I wasn't sure what it was. I had to ask. And this is out of a soda acid fire extinguisher. And this would have, it's an old one, and it would have been uh, full of sulfuric acid. And you can look up online how that would work. These old fire extinguishers, you turn them upside down to get them to go and finally we got the Mary T Goldman and this is a hair color restorer as well so we got three hair color restorers here somebody must have been uh, worried about getting old is all I can figure but that's a nice bottle it's machine made too but that is a beauty that was probably the find of the day for me right there yeah check it out nice bottle so uh, that's it for this one folks like I said I got a few more from this site and uh, several videos lined up so thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one everybody have a good day